Hey everyone, time for an update on Sailway development. Um, at this moment in time, the uh, several of you are testing the boat designer and uh, uploading their crazy designs. Really nice work, uh, what I've seen so far. And they're bombarding me with uh, bug reports. But um, although I do, um, I do fix those bugs, I also try to work on the next step. And the next step uh, in development is to make these boats actually float on the waves. Um, to do this, I need to know the shape of the hull you designed. And it is since this can be a, a, a raft made from logs or a trimaran or anything you want, and they can be really complex or really easy or really simple, um, I have to determine these shapes at runtime. And that takes a lot of time to uh, compute. So that obviously is not an option. Instead, I made a simplification of all this by tracing uh, the hulls um, beforehand. And then I save all these points that I found on the hull in the database, retrieve them at runtime, and have a program that uh, runs through them really, really fast to determine the shape of the hull. So let me show you. Here you can see this uh, trimaran, and if I zoom in a little bit, you can see that there are uh, orange dots on the hull itself. If I dive into the hull, I can show you. Let me see. There. You can see the shape of the hull here. And then there are yellow dots. And the yellow dots, the, these um, show me the shape of the, of the deck or where you can walk. And there are these red dots that indicate where you can't walk. And um, so these are determined at runtime. You just press one of these uh, buttons here and then it computes them and uh, takes a while and then saved, uh, stored in the database and at runtime I can uh, query them. So let me show you how this works. So I have this sample point here and if I move it around, you can see that this green point immediately changes and gives me a point on the hull. And I need this to determine, first of all, um, how much of the hull, what is, what's the volume on the water? Because uh, if you may want to make a boat float, you have to know what volume of the boat is underwater and to make it behave like, uh, like you would expect it to behave. And I need this to um, have water splashes. Water is splashing from the hull and this is done by particle emitters. And these particle emitters need to be uh, placed exactly at the location where the water hits the hull. So uh, if the boat goes up and then and here's the wave, and then it has to be here. And then when the water, or when the boat splashes down again, it has to make, um, uh, move the particle emitter right to the bow and that has to be done really fast every frame this has to be um, has to be determined so that's why I made this program and it's not super precise you can see the ball wobbling a little bit see but uh, the advantage is that it takes 20 microseconds that's not milliseconds but microseconds to complete so um, 0 0.02 milliseconds and I can query this a lot of times per frame without any impact on performance. Also uh, you can imagine that these particle emitters they have a direction if they would spray straight back your uh, the water spray would end up in the hull so they spray a little bit along the hull and uh, one hull is very narrow and the other hull is very wide I don't know that and so I can um, just sample another point on the hull, see where it is, and then determine the angle and then constantly spray the water along what you would expect. On the deck, same thing, you can walk over the deck, it samples these yellow points and then knows uh, how what the level is and your, your camera will move up and down when you step over benches or other things on the, on the deck. And here, when you come to the red uh, points, it will stop your camera and prevent you from falling in. Then on the uh, on the hydrofoils, I have the same thing. Here 
you can see these blue dots along the shape of this hydrofoil which is also needed because uh, first of all uh, the hydrofoil will also have a water uh, splashing from it so also a particle emitter that constantly has to go up and down if the hydrofoil goes deeper or higher uh, above the waves and I constantly need to determine um, the area of the foil underwater and the angle of that area uh, to determine the, uh, the lift force and where that lift force uh, is originating from. Yeah, it means it makes a lot of uh, difference if only this tip is in the water or this entire surface area here. So same for the rudder blade here, also trace the crucial points and then I can make uh, water splashing from uh, these, these rudder blades and also, I don't know, maybe determine the area of them and see uh, how much effect they will, they will have. So yeah, that's uh, what I'm working on and um, I will show you the next step when they uh, actually float on the water and uh, report back to you. For now, bye everyone.